first of all, Muay Thai is a, it's a very old martial art, probably one of the oldest martial arts in the world. It goes back to the times when actually Thailand was not Thailand. The name of the country was uh, Siam. In these old days, it was the martial arts of the battlefield. It was the combat sport. You use your weapon, you have to use your fist, your elbows, your knees in order to survive. It covers the long range, it covers the middle range, it covers the, the close range. Muay Thai is a competition sport with Greensbury boxing rules and the different weight division. It's actually only about 60 years old. It is a very traditional sport. We wear the Mong Kong, there is music playing during the fight. The fighter performed the pre-fight ritual. This is coming from the really old days of the sport and these traditions we keep alive. We have a campaign which calls uh, Muay Thai Against Drugs. The president is the private counselor of His uh, Majesty the King of Thailand. So he's a man of his heart. In Thailand, the standard of living are different from place to place. They might try every possible way to make living. That's why uh, some of them has gone into this kind of syndicate. Sport can help. This is Tutu. Tutu's day begins at 5 a.m. First, he must go to school, where he finds himself in a constant battle with bullies. Tutu's father also worries that his son will cave in to peer pressure. We pick these kids, and these kids, they're gonna come, and they're gonna train the old Muay Thai, the old traditions, and they learn the respect, and they learn the discipline. And this discipline, we want them to take back to their school. Then their grades maybe are really bad at the moment, or some of them don't even go to school. So we will force them to go to school, and they start to like it. Like build buildings, skyline building, uh, uh, speedway, but we did not build successful human elements. I not only teach them uh, boxing, I teach them history of Thai boxing. If they finish high school, they don't have money to go further to university. I provide them. Yeah. They're not my 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 kids, no, I, but. They are Thai kids. If they become good citizens of Thailand and they review okay. For the children and for people in their culture, they're not always aware of how valuable um, a thing they offer to the world. So talking to these children, you know, they, they, you come up to me and want to feel your muscles and see how strong you are and ask you about fights and stuff. And for them, it, you know, it, it's, it's an interesting thing to have a black guy come into the, into the classroom and speak Thai, number one, and then also do their sport and then also do it well. So I think um, it was, it was a, a great exchange for both of us. I think for me, it was a surprise, the whole, the whole happening, and I enjoyed it quite a bit. And I think for the, for the children, it was a surprise, and they enjoyed it quite a bit as well, to have the novelty of someone completely foreign knowing so much about their culture, and then at the same time focusing on how their culture educated me and talking to them about education at the same time. So these kids, they have the chance, if their school grades improve, we take them traveling. They go to Europe, they go to Australia, they go to Africa. I've been a champion for many years, but I don't recognize champions on their belts. You recognize champions without their belts. They don't have to wear a belt to be a champion.